Good morning guys, welcome back to the Sullivan family. So it's um, it's Tuesday morning, this is very weird. I'm not normally doing my shopping in the daytime. I'm normally, as you all know, I'm, I normally do it in the evenings. So this is a strange phenomenon, me being in the supermarket first thing in the morning. It feels like Christmas, because that's the only other time that I ever go first thing in the morning. Anyway, um, Ben is on nights uh, yesterday and today. And then Fridays, he's on leave on Wednesday and Thursday. But um, so he's he's on nights today and yesterday, as I just said. Let's just say it again. Um, hence why I didn't go shopping last night. Um, so I'm shopping today. So I've just done ASDA, um, and prices are up again. I hate to say it, but there's lots of prices gone up again. Um, and it's just, it's like 30p a time. I can't remember what it was that I saw now. Something that used to be, I was sure it was shampoo. It was £1.99 and now it's £2.39. It just seems to, everything, instead of creeping up by pence, it creeps up and up and up by like 10, 20, 30p at a time. Um, so it's big, big kind of price hikes. Although um, my kitchen roll, obviously, is £4.30 now instead of £4.00. Uh, we all know I like my kitchen roll that I buy from Asda. Um, although I did have to go to the co-op yesterday because I ran out of kitchen roll because hence I didn't do the shopping yesterday. So I had to go to the co-op to get some bits. Um, and I did actually find plenty kitchen roll. Um, the Mac stuff that's like £6.95 in the supermarket. They had that in Asda for £5.40. Co-op, not Asda. £5.40 in the co-op. Which is still extortionate, but it's cheaper than the £6.95 if you want that brand um in, uh, in than in asda so um i buy the asda one which is the equivalent of the plenty max um because i find we we get through quite a lot of kitchen roll and we get through loads if it's the thin stuff because they'll just it takes up you know we're always using it to wipe down and clean up spills etc etc because i don't like just having a cloth lying around because it's just unhygienic and it's just kind of ends up getting full of like ming so i like my kitchen roll um but a lot of the thin ones they just you just kind of they just break so i like the the thick ones and the asda is just as good as the plenty max one I've talked about kitchen roll for quite a long time now like it's a little obsession it's not but i like nice kitchen roll i don't like the one with the blue on it either because that just makes everything blue and we've got like a really old 1970s worktop which just like sucks up everything and um it just ends up being blue so then i have to elbow grease it all anyway um what else is up in price Ooh, beans are still five pound fifty but let's not go into beans because we all know what happens when i start talking about beans um although i did buy beans i had a conversation the other day about beans with somebody and they agreed with me that that they like Heinz as well. So I'm sticking with that. Uh, I can't remember what else I bought. Lots of fruit. Actually, apples are on, Braeburn apples, which are normally the expensive ones, they're on two for two pounds, two packets for two pounds in Asda. Um, so that's like 12 apples, which is quite good, lasts a couple of days. Um, got some Granny Smiths, got some bananas. We're out of fruit totally. Got some oranges because Leah keeps nagging me for oranges and I keep forgetting to buy them. Um, they've both gone to school with kiwi fruit today because that's all we had left. Well, they do like kiwi fruit. Um, so, yeah. As just done. Now I am on to go to Tesco's and finish off. I've only got a few bits to get in Tesco's. And then I'm going to take it all home so Ben can put it all away before he goes to work. So I'm off to Tesco's. <laughs> Right, so I'm done in Tesco's. Um, as that and Tesco's done, I'm full up. Uh, I always think we don't need very much stuff. Although, actually, I think it's just that the prices have gone up. So, obviously, everything costs more. So, overall, it costs more. Um, they have got five for four on frozen items in most frozen stuff in Tesco's. Although, I didn't buy five things there, so it didn't affect what I was buying um so yeah I can't think what else was like any particular price differences 
on anything um everything's kind of much of them although chicken nuggets if you buy birds like chicken nuggets they were actually cheaper in tesco's i bought some in asda and they were actually for a bag cheaper in tesco's you win some you lose some i never know because i th i think can i am i going to be able to get it in tesco's and I'm, am i going to be able to get it cheaper and then you but you don't you risk it and you don't buy it and then you can't get it in the other shop so sometimes you've just got to buy it haven't you so anyway um i'm done i've got a car full uh i still have real no ideas what meals i'm cooking this week um i think i've actually forgot to buy baps i'll have to go to the co-op tomorrow <laughs> i think i said i'd do chicken burgers for the kids tomorrow night and i think i've forgotten to buy them baps i bought ones for us um and i've forgotten to buy i'll just have to go to the co-op um i'm not going back in the supermarket so yeah i'm doing jacket potatoes on thursday um and I don't really know. Ben's at work. I always find it a bit. I could kind of cook something. For, everyone likes different things. Every, some people are in. Some people are out. It's one of those nights. And with Ben on nights as well, it's one of those nights where I don't really know what to cook. So, freezer food it may well be. Um, anyway. Oh, someone's gone past with a tiny baby. Anyway, I'm going home. And I'm going to take this lot back to Ben. Hey guys, how you doing? So this is a little bit odd. It's daylight outside and I'm doing the old weekly food haul it. So Zoe's literally just come back through the door. Um, she's, <laughs> that's Florence. All right, Flo Flo, are you copying daddy? Copying daddy? <laughs> so um, Zoe's literally just come, come back through the door with Charlotte and brought bags and bags and bags of shopping. And the reason obviously why I'm, why I'm doing it today in the daytime because I'm on nights tonight and Zoe's probably told you all about that so I won't labour it too much um, but again it's the big weekly shopping hauls the grocery haul there's there's toiletries there's all kinds of stuff like that uh, Zoe is right in front of me <laughs> don't put me off Zoe Zoe's right in front of me so she's she's going to help me she's going to help me put all the shopping away today you're helping me put all the shopping away today there's no Olivia and there's no Isabel so you're helping me today Exactly. It's Thanks, Flo. The worst Flo. bit of the shopping, isn't it? Thanks, Flo. It's the worst bit, Flo. Yeah, it is. But in it always rubbish. So I apologise in advance if it's not as neat as I'd normally do it because it's normally Olivia that does it. So and Olivia has just got OCD when it comes to when it comes to sorting out all this stuff for us to vlog about. So she puts in nice lines and it's all in um in, in its in its categories and all that kind of stuff. Nuts. But she's uh, she's not here. She's at school. Okay, should we um should we crack on then? Right then, here we go. So we've got the usual kitchen roll there. I have no idea how much that cost this week. I'm sure Zoe's already told you about it. Have you said anything about £4 it? £4.30. £4.30, there you go. Thanks, Zoe. Uh, we've got the usual apple juice then. Um, some of the regular things that we buy. So apple juice for the kiddies, for breakfast and stuff like that. And then mine and Zoe's Pepsi Max Cherry, which I go on about every week because well, that's what we drink. We don't drink alcohol or anything. So this is our, this is our fave drink to drink in the evenings and stuff like that right let's get on to the fresh fruit fresh fruit and vegetables should i say fresh fruit and vegetables we've got oranges there we've got my favorite which are the zingy and chris braben apples i absolutely love these these are amazing these apples from they're from Asda. yeah that's from Asda. love those apples uh we've then got the green juicy granny smith apples which the kiddies like we've got kiwi fruits there blueberries because isabel's an absolute fruit monster so is olivia We've got the usual lettuce because I bang on about this every week. We start. We used to buy packet lettuce, leaf lettuce a long time ago now, uh, but we always buy one of these. We chop it up, wash it up, and chuck it in a tub and put it in the fridge for, well, just for garnish and sandwiches and all that kind of stuff. And the kids can use it and help themselves and whatever they want to do. Right, moving up then, we've got the cucumber for salad. We've got another kiwi there, another packet of kiwis. We've got jack of potatoes. So it's obviously Zoe's doing jack of potatoes this week. Um, because that's why they're there, because she's bought them. <laughs> Don't take the Mickey out of me, Zoe. Uh, <laughs> this is really difficult having my wife behind, right behind me while I'm vlogging. Anyway, let's crack on. We do have, though, we do have the leaf salad, uh, and that's purely to go with jack of potatoes. So there's one for the kiddies, one for me and Zoe to share as well. Uh, the leafy salad, and we've got leftover salad dressing from last week, I believe, in the okay. fridge. No, we have, no, we have, we've got some leftovers. We didn't buy any of that this week, so. So hence why we've bought that. So it's jack of potatoes. For, that's one of the meals this week. We've then got bananas. Loads of bananas because we get through an absolute tons of them. All the kiddies like their bananas. 
We've got uh, green, we've got green grapes, we've got red grapes as well just to add to the fruit. It looks like Zoe's bought us a nice crusty loaf. Well done, Zoe. Do you like a nice crusty loaf? And then moving up, we've got Eva's pepperamis. So Eva likes to have a, pepper, a mini pepperami in her lunchbox um, at school too. But they're, they're basically Eva's. And then we've got um, the Lifesaver. We've got our Kenko. That is a, that is our favourite coffee, guys. This is our favourite coffee. We've tried the dark, the, the really dark one and that kind of stuff, but this is a, this is the best of the lot. So we like these. We've also tried lots of other brands as well, but this is our favourite. Uh, we've got some wraps there for the kids. Then moving across, we've got our brioche buns for chicken burgers. So we're going to have chicken burgers one night this week uh, or weekend maybe because I'm working. Oh no, no, I'm, I'm not. I'm not working on Wednesday, so we can have. I'm off tomorrow, so we can have chicken burgers, that's good. And then we've got bread there. So like I've said to you before, we're back on the Hovis now. We used to be on the Asda Soft uh, loaf, but again, the quality of the bread uh, dropped and it was just going stale and it wasn't very good. So we had to revert back to going to one of the brands again. So that's Hovis, uh, which is our favourite at the moment. Then we've got some fruits there for packed lunches and stuff. We've got sandwich fillers we've got wafer thin roast chicken slices we've got afters for the kids we've got chocolate mousses there they're the asda specials on the asda's just essentials uh moving forward then oh that's not see 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 that wasn't supposed to be there that should be with the baby food so that's um that's florence's breakfast there her cream banana porridge she absolutely loves this one but we we mix that up with a bit of fruit as well for her in the mornings warm it up with a bit of uh a bit of fruit she absolutely loves it so that shouldn't have been there then got cheese block of cheese that literally lasts us a week that one and then underneath there we've got the cheese strings for the kids pat lunches um quite quite well make quite a lot of them like the cheese strings in their pat lunches so there's two packets there uh then we've got some flora because um dairy free. it's dairy free yeah and isabel's been buying this for her baking it works really well it does doesn't it mm -hmm. And also, we quite like it. It's the best one for baking. So, that one. Out of all but, the dairy-free spreads and butters, that's the best one to use for things like buttercream and stuff like that, if you're trying to use... Because some of them don't work very well for buttercream, but that one works really well, and it tastes really nice. And, and it's vegan. we've started to use this just uh, just normal as well, haven't we? So we've started yeah, to use it for toast and sandwiches. No, because it's actually really tasty. Actually, I was, even Noah was using it this morning. Yeah, there you go, on his sandwiches. So we've got the usual milk there as well. So that will literally last us a day and a half for those two bottles of milk. Moving across then, we've got yogurt. So this week, Zoe's gone for the wildlife yogurt. So I'm guessing they were the cheapest this week, Zoe. Yeah. Uh, so Zoe always goes for the cheapest cheapest option. Uh, and then we've got our usual Bliss Corner Cheesecake Yogurt thingies. And they're really, really nice. They're the, they're the salted caramel ones. And like I say to you, every week, this is a bit of a replacement for chocolate. So if we have, a, if me and Zoe fancy something sweet, uh, and, and, we don't, and, and we don't fancy troughing a pound and a half of chocolate, oh, then no, we'll I go have, for one of those. I have both. Yeah, I bet you could mix your chocolate in with those, yeah, couldn't no, you? Yeah, I do have chocolate. To be honest. In that as well. Right, moving across then, we've got the Oreos because they're milk free, so they're perfect for Agnes, but all the kids love them as well. We've then got the uh, packed lunch fillers. So we've got Rocky bars there and Rocky bars. We've got some tuck biscuits. Uh, we've got, we buy tuck biscuits because Toby doesn't doesn't always like, oh, not Toby, um, yeah. Eva doesn't always like to have a sandwich. And instead of a sandwich, she has, she takes a little little tub with about two or three tuck biscuits in, uh, just as a bit of a replacement, that's all. She really likes them. Uh, we've got some squares bars there for snacks. Then moving up, we've got a crisp top up with some space raiders, tuna hoops. We've got Snacker Jacks, mainly for Joseph and Agnes. They absolutely love them, especially these big ones. They'll have a couple of those for a snack in the afternoon. And Agnes actually likes to have ketchup on hers. Don't ask. Anyway, moving across then. So we've got some skips there. We've got my favourite, the old Golden Wonder Salt Minigan. Love them. Uh, pom bears. These are now uh, Florence's favourite for her picky, to go with her picky food. She loves the pom bears, especially Salt Minigan ones. All right, moving forward then. Now that's where... Florence's food should have been, uh, her tin of breakfast should have been over here. So we've got a couple of fruits. We mix these in with her breakfast and we also give them to her for afters. So um, she absolutely loves these. The Ella Kitchen range actually is really good. Uh, but obviously we try with different stuff as well. And there's also um, finger food and all that kind of stuff and the frozen that Zoe made. So it's kind of, like I say, every week is a multitude of stuff that she tries, but these are her favourites. So she's onto, the, she's onto the hard stuff now. She's onto the bigger stuff. The more thicker, the more chunkier, chunkier um, meals. Uh, and also behind there is her favourite snack pots. 
So they're the fruit medley cust medley custards um, that she absolutely loves for her afternoon snack. Right, where do we get to? So we've got cereal there. So we've got shreddies. We've got Cheerios, and we've got uh, choco hoops there. Then down at the front, are you doing hot dogs this week, Zoe? Yeah. No. No. I just bought them for the cupboard. Oh, you bought them for the cupboard. All right, okay. So, so Zoe's got some hot dogs there for the cupboard. Uh, not for meals this week, but for the cupboards, we've well, got some. Maybe. We've got some Jaffa cakes there, mini rolls there for um, afters or for sometimes sometimes the kids like to have one for lunch, that sort of thing. And then we've got a ketchup top up there. We've got some vinegar. Uh, yeah, because we get through, actually get through loads of vinegar. The kids absolutely love vinegar. Um, we've got our usual Nando's Perrine sauce, the Perry Perry sauce that goes with our chicken burgers and stuff. Absolutely love that. There's a jam there. There's a honey for breakfast. Uh, are you doing a curry this week, are you? No. No? No. It's just, just cupboard stuff, is it? All right. All right, so there's some cupboard stuff there. And then we've got some more cupboard stuff there. So we've got some spaghetti wings in there as well. And then moving across, we've got the uh, we've got some cans for the kiddies. Because like I said to you, on a, we give them a treat on a Wednesday. They don't get Wednesday or Friday. Uh, on the weekend and stuff like that, they, they can have a, one can each in the evening just as a bit of a treat. Uh, and then moving up there, we've got noodles, noodles top up. Uh, what are they? Some salted caramel munch bars for snacks, some winders to go with pat lunches, fruit winders. Uh, and then my pot noodle for my tea tonight because I'm on nights. I want to fan really fancy the king pot. Uh, then we've got the beans and what's this here? We've got your washing washing tabs uh some honey clusters oh and the kids love these i've just knocked one on the floor but the kids really like these so obviously these are milk free as well um but the kids like these for the lunches i don't know what else to say about that lunchbox oreos they like yeah they really do they really like those so um uh i suppose they're are they quite reasonable as well price pound there you go so they're a quid which pound isn't bad at all is packs, it which you know a normal kind of sized Family would that would last a week, wouldn't it? Yeah, it lasts a day for me, but you know, so that's not bad at all, right? Anyway, that is the top, all right? Moving down then, because I like I said, I'm not as neat as Livy. Uh, we've got the usual juice there, so that's the um quadruple strength juice. There's three of those. What have we got again? So we've got cherries and berries, and probably some cherries and berries and summer fruits, and all we go for. And then we've got the girls' drinks. So uh, we've got some summer fruits there. These are for Olivia and Isabel. Uh, some more summer fruits. We've got one each. And knowing them, they'll put they'll put their their initial on, on the tops, so nobody pinches it. Right. Moving across then. Frozen. We've got chicken burgers because uh, the kids have the chicken burgers there. Birds on chicken burgers. We've got some chips. And a bag of ice for me and Zoe for our drinks. Right. Toiletries. What have we got in here? We've got a big washing up liquid, we've got some hands, oh no, that's baby wash, isn't it there? Baby wash and some toothpaste there on the bottom. Uh, we've got the bog rolls, yeah, the usual weekly bog rolls. Then in this one, we've got some scourers, some scourers, um, spray, it's like cow pole, cow pole top, I do need that stuff. Uh, shower gels, cotton buds and hand wash in there. Okay, of course, like a lucky dip in it. And then the other frozen bag we've got our chicken burgers. Love the chicken burgers. We now have to buy two boxes though, because the girls have hijacked it. So they, they've hijacked our chicken burger now. So two boxes in there. Uh, some hash browns to go with the chicken burgers. And then we've got, oh sorry, it's flashing the camera. And then we've got, uh, in there, uh, Sausage beers down there. Um, uh, sorry, I'm flashing the camera. Really quick. Um, chicken nuggets, and um, and that's it. That is it. I think. There you go. So um, that's the Asda Tesco weekly grocery haul done and dusted. Even in a nice daylight as well, nice sunshine. Makes a change, doesn't it? It's normally dark. It's normally about eight o'clock, nine o'clock at night. But um, today we're doing it in the daytime, so that's great. So that's all done. Uh, and that just leaves me and Zoe to put it all away now. Done it, Zoe? Quite 
Rubbish. So he's going to help me put it all away. He hates putting <laughs> And then it's going to be lunchtime for us. And then it's going to be work for me. So um, for now, guys, really hope you enjoyed the video. Please subscribe to our channel. Please hit the bell for notifications. Drop us a like. And don't forget our, our link, to, link, link to tree. Our link tree in the video description below. Uh, and on our channel homepage for all of our social media, our Instagram, our Facebook, and all that good stuff. And that just leaves me to say, we'll see you next video. Bye, guys.